guys welcome back for another vlog so i'm glad that you're here i'm actually waiting for my friend angelique to come over we're getting ready to hang out and i'm gonna fix her fix us some lunch so i remember the last vlog i said i was gonna hold off to do my hair i did it i just went ahead and did it yesterday i just have too much going on coming up so i just went ahead and did my hair, um, these are passion twists. I know I'm gonna get asked. These are called passion twists or singalese twists. Depends, some people call it differently. Um, but I just went on YouTube and learned how to do it. So I'm gonna link a video down below on how I learned how to do it, the video that I used to learn how to make, uh, do these. If you guys wanna go ahead and um, learn how to do them yourself. Um, but yeah, she's getting ready to come over. So right before she comes over, I'm getting ready to cook. So I, I want to thank Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what Green Chef is, it's a meal kit delivery service that delivers ready to cook food straight to your door. If you have been following me for a while, then you know we have used HelloFresh before and they also are the owners of Green Chef. So they offer a wide range of different meals to fit any lifestyle. And y'all know that I love trying new recipes like that's one of the things i absolutely love to do and the good thing about green chef is that i get to try recipes that most likely i would have never tried before You don't have to think about what you're making or go to the grocery stores to get the ingredients. Everything is already there for you. It comes in bags and each bag has all the ingredients that you need to make your meal, which makes life so much easier, especially for a busy mom like myself. One of the things I really love is that they have meals for different lifestyles. They have paleo, keto, vegan, vegetarian options. So it's amazing because if you're trying to stick to your health goals, they got you covered. This time I actually picked Mediterranean and let's just say I tried food I have never tried before or even heard of and I love that. Also the first certified organic meal company so that's also amazing and they seriously made cooking and eating at home so much simpler for us I do have a coupon code for you guys to check out all you have to do is go to greenchef.com and use my coupon code 130 simply Yesenia to get $130 off across four Green Chef boxes including free shipping on your first box hey guys guess who's here Say hi, hi. <laughs> We're getting ready to have some lunch, y'all. This looks so delicious, so, so good. But of so course, wrong. since my friend is here, I gotta offer her some wine. Mm, it smells uh, so good. Um, which one? I have the Stella Rosa Tropical Mango. Okay. You like that? Okay. All right. I'm gonna get to get some glasses. She's childless today. She ain't got no kids with her. I have no babies with me, so y'all do not get to see the cuties today. But <laughs> Mama needs a break. Yes, <laughs> she yes. needs a break, y'all. So, do you want the tall glass of one, the tall glass, or do you want yeah, a bit this short one? You pick. Okay. Me. Okay. Well, let me go get the step stool though. <laughs> <laughs> you we shorties over here. Good. Look, All right. Why you yeah. Go ahead. All right. So, do you want? Let's do some tall ones. Right, there you go. They're washed too. They're recently Let's washed. Let's be fancy. I just washed those last week. Let's um, be fancy, fancy, fancy. I get to eat some lunch first. And the kids come home later. Usually when they come home, it, it gets a little crazy in the house. Smells so good. I might take some feta. That feta even smells delicious. You, you want to try it? I'm gonna try it. I'm okay. gonna venture out today. Okay. I got something else. Let me know what you think. Venturing out. Wanna try the feta? Yeah, let's try the feta. Hmm. Quite good. I do. I've never liked it before. 
Really? But you know, as you get older, you taste it, less. Yeah, it's true. So, it's true. And that's pretty good. It's so mm. true. Mm. You like it? Like I it? like it. That's what I'm talking about. That's good. Um, it's going to pair well with this wine, too. I thought so. Oh, and by the way, you guys, let me flip the camera over. You guys asked me about the flowers. Okay, so when I did the flowers, um, mm -hmm. I added bleach, a little bit of bleach in the water. My really? friend Shanti told me to do that, right? So um, I did the little powder packet that came mm -hmm. in there. The essence salt and the uh -huh. Some people add sugar, but I've, had, I've done that before. It didn't really make much of a difference, but I add a little bit of the bleach mm -hmm. in the water, and the water is now murky. Like, usually the yeah, water be all nasty and stinks. It's been over a week now, and my okay. flowers still look. That looks good. good. Yeah, so a lot of people asked me in the last video why they add bleach in there, but now you know why. Yeah. My flowers are still and alive. And y'all was about to say, and they look even fresher than what they. Right, look. they're still alive. The water doesn't look nasty. Normally, by day two or three, I have to change the water. Right. I don't. The bleach is keeping the water um. Nice and clear. Right. I like it. So my friend just left. That's why my glasses are kind of tinted because I was talking to her outside. I'm one of those people that will talk you to death right before you leave. <laughs> um, but we were sitting here talking for such a long time, I forgot that I was vlogging. I got to clean up this kitchen, but you guys, um, I was going to tell you something. Now I can't remember. What was I going to say? I don't know. <laughs> I had something in my mind that I wanted to tell y'all, but I can't remember. But one thing I gotta do is clean up this kitchen. I didn't sleep good last night. Okay, so I didn't sleep that good last night. I, um, right when I was falling asleep, it was time for us to wake up. Now, I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. It used to be 4.30 in the morning. But the boys are independent now. They pretty much don't need me anymore. They don't need me anymore, which it feels good. It makes me sad, but it feels good at the same time. So I wake up at five. And that's 30 minutes before Destiny wakes up to go to school. Um, she wakes up at 530 in the morning. So um, we wake up early every single day. Someone asked me now that I don't. Uh, how does it feel? I don't have to wake up that early anymore. I'm like, I still have to wake up early. I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. I got kids. They got to go to school. So. Yeah, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of sleepy. I'm kind of like dragging today, but that was so much fun. My friend and I were just sitting there chit chatting with a glass of wine. That felt good. She now Angelique has younger children. She has, um, she has older, but she has also younger ones as well. That stage of life, it, I haven't been in that stage of life in such a long time. Um, but she's in that stage of life now. So sometimes I completely get it. Sometimes you need to get away and get a mommy break and just have a chit chat with a glass of wine. And I know that feels good because I remember when my kids were younger, Dev and David are so close in age. They're only 16 months apart. So they were kind of like twins in a way because they were both in diapers. So I remember I needed a break sometimes, you know, but I haven't been in that stage of life in so long. So long. My youngest is eight. She's about to turn nine in June. <sighs> it makes me sad, but she's still my baby. <laughs> makes me so sad. <laughs> hey guys, Destiny is home. Ah! She be looking forward to coming home. The dramatics is real. Well, today, did I tell you guys today is St. Patrick's Day? Show me your outfit, Destiny. You guys stand up, baby. So. This is my green shirt. And green pants with rainbows. Uh huh. And a rainbow. Did your friends also wear um, St. Patrick's Day stuff? Most people did. Okay. Most people did it. So did you have a good day at school? Mm -hmm. What'd you learn today? I learned about what happened from a long time ago. What happened from a long time ago? What happened a long time ago? Uh, That's a fridge, guys. We had to, like, in some stuff in the text, like it was from a long time ago. Yeah, but so where? When, what time? What time I, frame? Well, I don't know, but it was in the 1918s, 16s, and 17s. Wait, wait, wait. 19, 19 what? 1900s and the 1800s and the 1700s. Oh, okay. I thought you was going to say something about the eight, 19, 1990s, 1980s, or something. 
<laughs> well, we learned about how they had to get fish, fish to sell so they can build stuff and and get more fish, and they sold it all mm -hmm. in the trading area. And they also got wood because there's thick forest, and they built ships with it so they can travel. And also. While they're traveling, they 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 get um whale blubbers to have as lights. Uh huh. And <clears throat> some black people were in slavery and some weren't. And also, mm -hmm. while they had to work seven to ten years to go on the um if they didn't have enough money they would have to work for seven to ten years. Oh you mean like indentured slaves, like yeah. the Irish. Okay. Uh, so this, this is Saint Patrick's Day, it makes sense. Yeah, it's indentured, yeah. It says the same thing. Oh wow. Indentured. <laughs> it's not it's indentured, but I don't know what the end part is, but it isn't slaves, I don't think. And indentured servants. Yes, indentured servants. Oh, see, I, I knew, I knew it. Um, I know a little something, something. And today, Mackenzie did a full split in PE. Oh, that's wonderful. She said she can do a full split, and she did it. And also about that, we we had to go to PE instead of music for something. I just finished getting that scene from the bus stop. That's why my glasses always looked um, tinted. Yeah. Dark and tinted. It takes so it takes this one. This pair of glasses always takes a while for it to go back to normal. Um, but usually after Destiny comes home from school, I'll give her like 30 minutes to like unwind and just chillax, get her mind straight from and school. And I only have one page of homework and then we're going on a walk. I can That's right. She said she barely got any recess today, so she wants to go on a walk. So we'll go on a walk after she does her homework. And I can ride my scooter today. That's right. That's what we've got confined in the garage. John has been working on that garage. Oh, I know where it is. Okay. Ooh, child. But yeah, she said she barely got any recess, and you can, as you can see, she's very um, hype. She needs some to loosen up some of that energy. <laughs> shoes now last year sorry y'all my hair is in the way so last year he got me the um black ones and i love the black ones and i want i was on the hunt for the white ones and they were sold out they kind of don't stock up once you these shoes come out they if you don't get the shoes that you want you won't really find them in store but um i'm a size 10 in shoe and this was how much was this because i paid ten dollars last year yeah how much was this cheetah one the cheetah shoe that you bought me, baby. $9.99, so it's still the same price. These are for Destiny. She is a size 5, and these are 15, I think. So these are for her. She was actually, I was looking for a shoe like that for her. I saw that Target has some, but these are for her for summer. So I already have the black ones, and I was on the hunt for the white ones because I love those type of shoes. They're supposed to be like the Teva shoes, um, but I like those. So now Walmart really has some nice sandals. Hold on, y'all. Because I literally just posted a video, which is the one where I decorated for Easter, which wasn't a lot. I literally just posted like five minutes ago. Um, but I like the flat sandals that they be having. I don't know if they came out with them. John showed face to me when he was looking at the sandals. What happened? She rich. Does he keep yelling, I'm rich, I'm rich. I'm like, what is going on? I don't know what she mean by that. But anyways, what was I talking about? What was I, 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 that's, I can't even remember what I was talking about while that yelling. But anyways, the shoes, right? The sandals, I like the ones from Walmart, the flat ones, so I'm on the lookout for those. Oh, this is what I was saying. I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. John FaceTimed me to, and that whole palette, that whole area was already sold out. They had the shoes there. They just sold out very quickly. So maybe I'll check tomorrow and see what kind of sandals I can get from Walmart. 
I saw some other ones they had. I really don't like them, but they're like $25. I think that's a lot for Walmart, so. But they be having some really nice stuff. Whew. It gets loud in the afternoons here, you guys. Um, everyone is home. All three of the kids. John is home, so I'll show you, John. Everyone wore green. David didn't really have a green shirt, but he wore a green mask with the, the four-leaf clover on it. Wait, not the four-leaf clover. I don't know, y'all. I am spacing out today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is why you were yelling. Let me see that $20 bill. I have $100 now. So you're not poor anymore? So you keep telling people you're poor and people believe you, Destiny. I have $100. So are you going to keep saving your money? She won't. She's going to spend it all on Rolex. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> David, oh, and by the way, David's wearing the mask in the house because... He doesn't want to get pinched. Yeah. Anyone's going to pinch you? He has a little mask. Let me see. Can I look at the mask? Can I see his mask? David, Devin and Destiny has been pinching him for now wearing green. So he keeps the mask on to protect himself. <laughs> this is what happens when you're rich. You get to dance like this. <laughs> How about you? I'm good. You, you got money? Turn this light on. I have $85. You got $85? Oh, remember he used some of his money for that computer, so he used to have a lot more than that. I had more than that. Oh. So when y'all taking us out, D? Yeah, good question. She can. She can now. No. Yeah, she can. She oh. used to eat now. That's it. We like to eat. We like to eat. That's it. You ain't gonna take us out to eat. Oh. Where do you want to go? I like um I like um cheddars. Okay. It usually costs about a hundred dollars to feed all of us. Well, Devin and David included because they didn't take us out to eat. Oh, yeah, when you taking us out to eat, David? Oh, that one and Devin had, he ain't taking us out to eat. We still waiting. And John is home. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Oh, hello. <laughs> He's so <laughs> we're about to get. We're, we're about to start eating dinner now. I got to go get my nails done tomorrow. I need that nail money. I got five on. Yes, I got five nail I go get my nails done. You see, y'all see my. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. Plus the color. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Even though it's nice, I like lighter colors on my nails. So I'm thinking maybe like the French tip or something tomorrow. I don't know. I also need a pedicure this time. I, in the winter time, I don't get as many pedicures. I'll get a pedicure and then I'll skip a month. Get a pedicure, skip a month because you know my feet are covered most of the time. But the weather is getting it's getting nicer outside. Plus my feet need it. So I can't be, you know, using my claws on ya. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, good morning. It is now the next day, and I have to show you guys a very small haul. So I got the kids some more of the Kool-Aid jammers to put in their small refrigerator. They are completely out. They were also out of um, what am I gonna talk about? Cereal. So they were out of cereal. So Destiny's favorite is Cheerios. Um, we got Lucky Charms and Frosted Flakes. This is our favorite um orange juice. We like to drink this one. I like this juice with the pulp in it. I wanted some oatmeal. I'm craving oatmeal lately, so I'm, I'm gonna need some oatmeal. I got the boys more shampoo. This is the everyday. Basically, this is um, Head and Shoulders, just in the Equate brand. Um, so they needed more. I was cleaning the bathroom and I noticed that they were completely out. They don't tell you that. Um, avocados, avocados. I always gotta test them out to see if they're good. They just delivered the groceries. I got the Walmart delivery service. Okay, they're not bad. Okay, I could I could do with some of this. I got Destiny these chicken nuggets. Homegirl eats a lot of chicken nuggets. But I wanted to try this brand to see if it was good. It's gluten-free breaded nuggets shaped chicken patties. No antibiotics ever. Made only with white meat chicken. So I want to see if she likes those. And then there's another brand that sell at Costco. Next time we go, I need to go there and get that. Because it's a good brand. I think my friend Shanti gets it. I got some Kobe Jack cheese. So I got I needed a few things for small groups. Um, I'm making like a pasta salad um, for Sunday. So I got some cubed cheese. I already got the mozzarella balls that I'm gonna put in there. I got pepperonis to put in there. And then some, oh, hold on. These cherries are shriveled up. 
John, they got me, they gave me some shriveled up cherries. Great. They gave me shiver. They gave they really gave me shiver, shriveled up cherries. <sighs> this is you know that's one of the things. And then I wanted to get the Pioneer Woman cutting board. So I uh, I really like this one. Like y'all, it has a little stand on it and everything. So I really like it. My fresh auntie has this one, um, but I really like it. it's nice and tall. So I got it. We we're supposed to leave out the house a lot earlier this morning. Y'all, that sleep felt too good. Uh, once the kids left for school, John took the day. John's today's day off. He went back to sleep. And then when I saw him laying in the bed, I'm like, let me just lay in here for a few extra minutes. Yeah, let me try for a little bit. Just for a little bit. I even had my alarm clock on and everything, man. And that alarm clock went off. It's only 9.38, but still. Yeah. I, I wasn't trying to hear it. I'm drinking some tea. Y'all will see this mug, jelly beans. It's like iridescent. Um, but when that alarm clock went off, I didn't want to hear it, so I'm not going to be one of the first ones to get my nails done today. I don't know. Maybe I should wait, John. If I don't go there right when they open, I'll be afraid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we need, we need to go to Sam's Club, right? Yeah, we need to go to Sam's Club. So you say good morning to the people, John? I gotta say good morning good to the people. Morning. How y'all doing? <laughs> Uh, I swear, I, talk, I, talk, I literally talk to Tiffany every single day and her vocabulary started rubbing off on me. The people. <laughs> oh my God. Um, I was going to say something. We need to take, get some cherry tomatoes from, are we going to get some? We're going to take them back. Okay. But which one might came from? I'm checking out. But um, yeah, we're going to take those. I can't put the ch shriveled up cherries up in there. And I'm not making the pasta salad till Saturday. We're going to put this away. I was going to get my nails done, but if I'm not one of the first ones in there, I'm going to be winning a long time because it'd be a lot of people. And the one I normally go to don't open till 10 o'clock, but they'll be taking their sweet time. I mean, they're great, but they just take a long time and I got things to do. So I think I'm going to push my, me getting my nails done until Monday. Yeah, I'm going to do this till Monday. Everybody, you be back at work, the kids at school, and I can go do what I gotta do. So, I was gonna do my nails and everything. I mean, it can last a few more days. It's not terrible, it's not falling apart. So, um, my feet aren't crunchy or nothing. <laughs> but I guess we're going to Sam's Club then, huh? Yeah. Let's do that. So I switched over to vlogging on my phone when I go out like places like Sam's Club and stuff. It's just easier that way. I'm like, wait, hold up. I got you vlog like this and people don't really stare, stare. Now, if I had my camera, that would be a whole different story. Um, people love to stare with my camera. Like a deer caught in the head. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it, it's just weird. So, life of a vlogger. Y'all, it's so foggy outside. I mean, foggy. It is really foggy out here. Um, I got it. So one of the main things I got to get from Sam's Club is the Easter egg. Uh, they have pre-filled Easter eggs, and that's for our small group. We're gonna do like this barbecue thing on um, in April, cause that's when that we get our spring break. Our spring break is always the first week of April. It's usually it's usually when the Masters tournament come here, um, which is always the first week of April. So that's when we get our um, that's the golf tournament. For those that don't know. Um, that's when our spring break is. So always after everybody else, which I like though, because March in a lot of places is still cold. April starts to be like at least 70 degrees. Um, but anyways, they're going to do like an Easter egg hunt and a lot of people are contributing. Now Sam's club has the pre-filled Easter eggs in there. So I'm going to get it from there because I'm trying not to wait to the last minute. Um, sometimes we wait to the last minute to get things thinking that we still have time and then um, we really don't because we go back and it's everything sold out and it happens to us multiple times so this time I'm going to be ready I'm going to be ready this time so I'm just gonna get this up early and hopefully we will we get that out of the way oh yeah yeah so and I was also gonna do Destiny's Easter basket but she just she picked one out in the store so she said I just want that okay I'm like you just made my life a lot easier thank you and the boy said they don't want anything so I'm gonna get them some chocolate bunnies and that's what they're getting for Easter and that's it um, 
man, I wanted a basket, but I guess I'm not getting one. You're grown. So. What kind of basket you want, John? A basket with some junk in it, too. Like what? Candy. You can go to Dollar Tree and fill yourself up. With that, you want candy? <laughs> John always messing with me. <laughs> what was I going to say? I was going to say something. But anyways, that's what we're getting ready to do. And then, oh, we also have to stop by Walmart and get the Easter basket from Desi for Destiny from there. And then that's about it. That's what I got going on today. Um, it's going to rain again later. Again. Which is, in a way, is good because, you know, we have pollen going on right now. And they, and they washed a lot of the pollen away. Um, hold on. I got a notification. Uh, I washed that out of the pile of away, but then the neighbor across the street started washing his car, detailing it, cleaning the tires and stuff, which I don't think there's anything wrong with. But usually during pollen season, and especially if you don't go to the car wash, doing that much work for hours, I feel like it's pointless. Like, I mean, he was wiping it down, and then I guess he, when he cleaned it, more pollen got on there. He came back out. He was sitting in the garage for a long time, and then he came back out and got grabbed the rag and started wiping it down again. You see the top of truck yellow? Yeah. So I, I'm sure he got nothing but time because he was just sitting there just wiping his car down most of the day, which is crazy to me. We we also did the Walmart Walmart return for the tomatoes and they're giving our money back so we'll just get some do we get the cherry tomatoes from Walmart or Sam's Club? No, they got them at Sam's Club. We'll get them from there. Okay. That's what we'll do. So yeah, see you in the store. Alright y'all, this is what we were talking about. These um these are what $34.98? Mm -hmm. Um it has Sour Patch, Swedish Twizzlers and Jolly Ranchers. And it has the eggs already in there so all you gotta do is fill them up. Yeah all we gotta do is fill them up. That's it. They have some other stuff here too. They have some um, Easter Hershey's eggs, John. I never seen those before. They also got these M and M's. They got the ones with the peanuts and the ones without. Oh, my weakness! I better quit. And then they have these two. Especially if you do some baking around Easter time, these are perfect. And you know what? We're gonna get these bunnies for the boys. This is what we'll get for them. Yep, it's a two-pack. I think they knew we were coming, John. Mm -hmm, unless you want that one. Which one? Nah, they don't need those big Hershey's. Look at this. They're 13 something. 13.48. Look how big this thing this thing is. Wow. That is crazy. They do have some Easter pillows. They're 15.98. Let me see. These are cute. Happy Easter. They have this one too. What else they have? Let me see. They have this long one. Hold on. It says hello for spring. This would work also for spring, not just Easter. What else they have? Hello sunshine. That's pretty cute. I like it. Y'all, look at this. It's a two round basket. 19. It's a two pack. I like it. Oh, I love it. That's a good deal for two of them. I would I would have thought for one for sure, but not for two. That's a good deal. Nineteen ninety eight. Y'all look at this Shark Air Purifier. It's two hundred forty nine ninety eight. But that's two, how many square feet? A thousand square feet. That's good. Y'all know we love air purifiers. You can definitely tell the difference in the house when you have one. The air just smells cleaner. And it's not as much dust. But dang, a thousand square feet. That's what I'm talking about. I've never seen one that does a thousand square feet before. That's actually a really good deal. Because the most I've ever seen is 400 square feet, if that. Yeah, that's a great deal. All right, y'all. So I am at Walmart, but I'm looking at the Easter baskets. Like the one that Destiny picked, it was a Barbie one, and it is not here. I should have got it then. See, that's what I'm talking about when you wait too long. Um... There's some of them that are just too babyish and it's going to become clutter. I don't want clutter. She's not going to play with those stuffed animals. And some of them are like, I'm going to show you this one. Like this one would be too babyish. Like she ain't fit her fit in that. Like she don't play with this kind of stuff. 
So I'm trying to find something. If not, I'm just gonna go ahead and make her a basket. Yeah, I think I'm gonna build her a basket instead because the stuff in those baskets kind of suck. Ooh, girl, you are pretty. Chelsea, Barbie, are they all the same? No, it can't be because they have <clears throat> a bunch of different Barbies. Yeah, these are the Chelsea ones and these are 472. I figured out. Oh, look at this. It's $22.54. Oh, this is pretty. I can see it already. Pancakes, bacon, eggs. I love that. What else they have? They have some really nice stuff. Like, just don't bring me to Walmart. Look at this. Oh, it's so nice. They have a lot of nice stuff. They have some Pioneer Woman stuff. All right, y'all. So I came to look at their shoes. This is a different Walmart. And look at this color. I definitely got to get this one. And they have my size. They're $2 higher here. Like, how is this $2 higher here? A mile up the road is $9.98. How does that happen? Wow, but I really like this color. Am I guaranteed to find it? Because they don't have this over there. So I might as well get it yeah so i'm gonna get this one like these are for girls you guys and these shoes are so cute for destiny but they don't have the size five she wears a five i see fours and at the bottom i see sixes but i don't see the fives hey guys so we are now back home i'm gonna show you what we got from walmart um yeah let me show you that now and of course this is still out because we just left out the house and left it there but i gotta restock everything so to put for destiny's easter basket this is what i got she wanted the bar it was a barbie one that she wanted it, that easter basket but i don't think it would have been look good it would have looked this good it had like one barbie thing in there and that was it everything else was not that great so i got this doll it was six dollars for this one 6.96 or something like that i always use the walmart app to make sure it's to scan everything make sure everything's the correct price then I got this Barbie art little thing of a jig here. Plastic easel included. That's good. And then I got a smaller little Barbie Chelsea doll to put in there. She loves everything Barbie. And then a little outfit set that was like $4. And it comes with a little hanger right here. All right. So that's what I got in there. And then I got a Barbie color reveal. So it has like some things in there. So for this one, it has... Uh, Contents, three pets, one accessory. So, okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. Up. Oh, hold on, y'all. <laughs> Come back. All right, y'all. Then I got her a water bottle. And I thought this was pretty cool. Look how cool this is. And she likes stuff that's tie-dye. And then I thought this shirt was super cute to put in there. So, wildflowers. It has California poppy, baby blue eyes. Indian paintbrush, uh, California fuchsia, prickly poppy, California buttercup, yellow monkey flowers, and arroyo lupine. Um, and I'm gonna put that. I love shirts like this that has like plants and stuff in the front. Um, I have a weakness for those. And of course, you guys seen that I grabbed this one. I grabbed this one for myself. See, I told you, John, we had some of this. And he didn't believe me. He's like, get it anyway, because I got this to put in there. So I'm gonna take some of this out, and this one's prettier, and put this in there. But I think that's this is the basket I'm gonna use. I got this basket for a dollar at the Goodwill in Atlanta. Was it last year? I think it was last year. I could be wrong. No, it was a Goodwill in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're such traveling people. We go all places. We lose count. <laughs> Wanna be free of this heart? Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me I need you more, need you here More than I would like to admit Let's forget about tomorrow Yeah Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's over, yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop, yeah, yeah You 
never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay It's just a phase and everything is going just great these are going on the wall. We're in the living room. John is spray painting them. I found them at Hollywood Lobby, but they were silver, and we don't really decorate with silver. I'm more of a, like a champagne gold, but I really like this. We just went to Walmart and got the the paint, spray paint color. Let me see how it looks from this way. Oh yeah, I love it. This is perfect. This is definitely perfect. Thanks, babe. You want to know which spray paint color we use? We use the Rust-Oleum Metallic. And this one is like a, it's like a champagne gold. I really like this one. I know it's been too long to just pick up the phone. like it needs to deep clean but it does I can see it I can see the dirt my cabinets are dirty the oven needs to get clean I need to clean behind the fridge but that won't be now I would have put that, that video next but the next video will be the real housewives of YouTube video so what's up babe okay John's letting me know that to keep a look out for the stuff he just spray painted but the next video will be the real housewives of youtube video so i can't wait for you guys to watch that um so that will be after this video and then after that one that's when i'll do the kitchen because my kitchen needs it and it needs it it's really, i need to wash these curtains the windows need to be cleaned the lights fixture needs to be cleaned everything everything needs to be clean I don't know if I could do it all in one day. I used to be able to do it all in one day, but this arthritis has it slowed me down. So I don't think I'll be able to do it all in one day. But we'll see. But I'm definitely will be showing you guys that.
up so bad right now. Like everything hurts and my body is so stiff. Like it, everything hurts so bad. I had to take ibuprofen. Cause normally I try to deal with the pain myself and then I will take like an ibuprofen if it's the last resort. Hold on y'all, y'all kind of dusty over here. Uh, I'll take an ibuprofen if it's like the last resort. So I had to take one. Cause plus days that it rains is usually when my body hurts the most. It's about to pour down rain right now. But I got some mail. I checked my PO box a few days ago. Um, and I got a, a package from Connie Fisher. So let me show you guys what she said. She sent me a card. This is the card that she sent me. Super cute. And um, she wrote some beautiful things in here with a it says, search for the Lord and for his strength. Continually seek him. Um, Psalms 105.4. Thank you so much. She, she wrote some beautiful things in here. Um, but let me show you what she sent as well. Thank you so much, Connie. You are so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. So you guys even take the time out to send me anything because I don't expect anything from anyone. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you. And she sent me this Pioneer Woman Tea Holder. Y'all look at this. Isn't this cute? Sweeter than tea. So I'm definitely gonna be using this. So thank you so much. And then she sent me some kitchen towels as well. This Cuisinart kitchen towel. It says, wine is always a good idea. I agree. Y'all already know how I feel about wine. So thank you, Connie. I appreciate it so much. She packed, she um, wrapped, wrapped everything so beautifully. So I'm gonna put this back real quick over here. But um, did y'all, you know what's crazy? I'm, I'm surprised I didn't mention this yesterday because yesterday was St. Patrick's Day. But did y'all know that John is Irish? You would have never guessed, but he is. He's Irish, he's many things, but he, and I was surprised because we did the Ancestry DNA. We knew he was part Irish. We just didn't know the percentage and his percentage was quite high. So I was like, <laughs> I was shocked. <laughs> he's part Irish, isn't that crazy? And I did my Ancestry DNA and let me show you guys, I'm gonna share with you what my Ancestry DNA is. Okay, so we did the Ancestor DNA, I would say two years ago, usually during Black Friday, they had kind of a sale. It was very easy, they sent us the kit, and all you have to do is spit in the tube and you do nothing else. Like, they don't ask for your information or nothing. Like, they just ask for your email, so like that, when the results are done, they can email you, let you know they're ready. So we got the results, and it always updates. It tells me where my cousins are from and everything. So here's my results for my DNA. After there, it will be fun to share with you guys. All right, and it was pretty spot on, but I didn't know many things here. Okay, so I am, the first thing that pops up is I am 20% Spain. Um, so basically it says the results indicate distant origins 500 to 1,000 years ago. Results with, a, a, I guess it's a dot, black dot with a little lines around it indicate more recent origins 50, 50 to 300 years ago. So that's fascinating to me. I love anything history. So it showed I'm 20%. Uh, the first thing it shows, it goes from the highest percentage to your lowest percentage. So I have 20% in Spain, which I'm not surprised. Um, I'm 16% 16 Cameroon, Congo, Western Bantu peoples. 14% Nigeria. Ooh, that makes me happy. <laughs> Uh, 11% Benin and to Togo, 10% Northern, Northern Africa, 7% Senegal, 7% Portugal, which I'm not surprised with that one either. 5% um, Mali, 5% Basque, 1% European Jewish, 1% Indigenous Haiti and Dominican Republic. Are we surprised? Indigenous, 1% uh, Indigenous Americas, Ecuador, uh, Indigenous Americas, Colombia and Venezuela, which is 1%, 1% uh, Indigenous Puerto Rico, which is 1%, and then Indigenous Eastern S South America, 1%, and then 1% Egypt. So, now, nah, I didn't expect that little drop of 1% in there from Egypt. 
So my DNA, it says my DNA comes from the communities of the Dominican Republic. So they're pretty much spot on. Um, I was, cause I, I wondered whether we're gonna say, are you American, are you Dominican? I mean, I was born in America, but that's not where my family's from. Um, I'm like first generation here, that's it. But I was, I was curious to see where they figure it out. And sure enough, they did. They said, your communities come from the Dominican Republic, the southern part of the Dominican Republic. And they're correct. So I found that fascinating. And okay, so you can explore any of your results in your DNA um, history. So basically, this is where my line of history starts. I don't know if you guys can see. My DNA started from 1825 to 1850. And it started from the Independence, Independence Day Dominican Republic. So, select a region in your results to learn more about the, a place and peoples who lived here. There, during the Haitian occupation, farmers hid and formed isolated encla enclaves, encla enclaves, enclaves of resistance in the northern mountains. While in Santo Domingo, which is where mainly my family lives, uh, Dominicans could no longer run for public office, move freely, or travel in all Dominican groups. Haitians even instituted a curfew. However, Dominicans continue their Spanish Catholic traditions by creating indoor nacimientos, nativity scenes, for Christmas and spoke their own Spanish dialect. Um, hardships also bred heroes such as Juan Pablo Duarte, Matias Mella, and Francisco del Rosario Sanchez who along with their secret society, La Trinitaria, the Trinity, uh, helped lead Dominicans to the independence of, by um, 1844. That's quite interesting. And then put, they put pictures here of my cousins. I don't know these people. <laughs> A lot of them are from New York and they're all Spanish. So uh, yeah, uh, it makes sense. It says ready to explore uh, your results. So it tells you the different countries where you come from and how it shows and how it travels. It's really fascinating stuff. I love it. Um, I love li looking at stuff like this. History. Now John's um, DNA is pretty interesting. Once he comes home, I'm going to see if he'll share with you guys. Um, but I find that kind of stuff pretty. pretty okay, y'all. John is back. So he gave me his phone. Okay, so he has 34% Nigeria, 21% Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples, 12% Ivory Coast, Ghana. Okay. Oh, they, they must have updated your DNA. Did they update it? They always update it. Okay, so this is a new update. 12% Ivory Coast, Ghana. I already said that. England and Northern Western Europe, 9%. Scotland, 6%. Ireland, 5%. Mali, 4%. Benin and Togo, 4%. Senegal, 3%. Germanic Europe, 1%. And Northern Africa, 1%. And then at the end, does it say? Because mine, it says where my family came from. Yours, it says two things. Mine only said one, which was Dominican Republic. Yours, because John is here. Early North Carolina African Americans, 1700s, 1800s. Now, John is from Virginia, but he lives like, where he's from is like right at that North Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia line, like in the town called Emporium. So it says he's from early North Carolina African Americans from the 17 to 1800s, right? So the Africans that came through there, came through North Carolina, they were Nigerian, Cameroon and Congo and Western Bantu peoples. And then it also says you have mid Atlantic coast African Americans from 1750 to 1950. Connected to your regions is Benin in Togo, Nigeria, Cameroon, Congo and Western Bantu peoples. And then it says, so he's, they said this, he's from Northeastern North Carolina and Southeastern Virginia, African Americans. How they know? It's crazy. From the Roanoke River, African Americans in Virginia, North Carolina border, African Americans. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. 
that's amazing i just found that fascinating so if you were ever curious to do your in your dna to find out your ancestry i definitely recommend for you guys to go ahead and do it because it's definitely some interesting information i love it over three years ago and it still sent me updates right it still sent me updates mm -hmm. too they'll be like i find you a new cousin <laughs> Yeah, I got like 4,000 second and third cousins. Yeah, I have cousins from, the majority of shows from New York, but a lot of them are in Portugal. And I, yeah, a lot of them are in Portugal and some of them are in Spain. And then the rest are in New York. I know you was a Spaniard. Huh? I knew you was a Spaniard. Oh, I knew, I mean, we all knew that, you know, I had that in there, but it's crazy. It is so crazy. I love it though. That Devin said he wants to do his DNA. I actually don't think that's a bad idea find out what they have. Maybe in the future we'll do that. Yeah, maybe run a special. I think they got one now, 59. Mm -hmm. That's how much we paid for our ancestry. Ancestry. We did a Black Friday um, thing and it was $59. So we did both of ours. So we just wait for a sale. We did Ancestry DNA. That's the one we ended up doing, which did a great job. But now, John is finished spray painting my thing that I had outside and then we're gonna put it up so I, can, I can't wait to show you guys what that looks like. It's perfect. I'm gonna put my stuff up but I need to see first how it's gonna look. Um, hmm, let me see. Um, that's a little bit higher, just a little bit, a smidge. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's hope we um have it good. Okay, you got it like that? All right. Let's, oh, yeah, we want to figure out the, I hope. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. I'm about to say, I hope we do it correctly. You all be right there. No, we try to, no, that's different though. Let's see if we were correct. Okay. I love it. I love it. Okay. I apologize for the lighting, guys. It's so dark outside, so I kind of close the curtain and just use a regular light in that living room. But um, I love it. I love it. I love it. So we got these candles from Hobby Lobby. It's better to get the real ones for now. Um, they're actually cheaper than getting the battery operated one. I didn't know that. Thank you, babe. So. Uh, I like it. What do you think? You see, you see my vision, my vision, my vision. It's all about my vi the vision, you know, the decor. <laughs> I'll be trying to explain John the vision that I have. He be like, uh huh, yeah, okay. He don't care. <laughs> Perfectly with my eyes. Let me get this candle. Here you go, sir. I love it. Okay, it's pet. Okay, I love it. Let me move back a little bit so we can see it. I love it. Okay. There you go. I love the way that looks. Okay, I love the way that looks. Now my lamp was spray painted. It used to be black years ago. I've had that lamp, I would say eight years, eight years. And I spray painted it champagne gold, but I spray painted it, spray painted it five years ago. So it has a lot of scratch, a lot of scratches and you know, nicks on it. So what I'm gonna do, not right now, we're gonna spray paint, we're gonna end up spray painting that lamp the same color as that because that's what I like. It looks so nice, I really like it. You did good, babe, thank you. Thank you, thank you. But that would be all, guys, that's all I got going on. I'm only doing laundry, it's Friday. So y'all know, it's Friday, I'm gonna watch. Sit right here, this is my spot. And watch some TV. It's Friday, yay. Yeah, you're correct. <laughs> that is a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna watch some TV, drink some Stella Rosa. I always call it Stella Rose. It just, I don't know why, but it's Stella Rosa. Um, I'm gonna drink some tea, drink, watch some TV. I have a feeling Destiny's gonna watch 
want to watch another Harry Potter movie. We've watched three so far. She wants to watch number four. So we, we'll we'll see because we're also watching Raising Dion and we only have two episodes left. So I hope you all enjoy this vlog. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye.